and move down to the ground and start there. So go ahead and sit down, lie down on your back, and we're going to start off with some core and some hip muscle activation. So bring your right knee in toward your chest, bring your left leg straight out, hover it about six inches off the ground. If that's difficult, you can relax it all the way down. And then just press both of your hands into your right thigh as hard as you can. So just about 20 seconds here, really pushing hard. And the goal here is to get the hip, the hip flexor, and your core active. And this is important because most of us sit a lot during the day and these muscles get inactive. And then we go to work out and they don't turn on. So this helps to turn those muscles on. All right, and switch sides. So right leg goes out, now left leg is in. And again, just pushing as hard as you can into your left thigh with both hands. You can hover your shoulders off the ground a little bit if you want a little more core activation, or you can keep it relaxed onto your back all the way. It's up to you. Yep, cool. In about five more seconds here, keep pushing. Just five seconds, push hard. Three, two, one, and then release. And now bring both knees over your hips. Arms are gonna come out to the sides. Come all the way out, I'll come down here. And then legs are gonna go over to the right as you inhale. Then as you exhale, back to the middle. So squeezing your abs, bring it back to the middle and out. And then to the outside, inside, sorry, the middle. Back to the outside, inhale. Back to the middle, tightening your abs. And just keep that up on your own pace. You want to do this relatively slow. So you shouldn't be doing this as quickly as possible. You want to try and do a four or five second inhale and a four and a five second exhale back to the middle. So it's nice, slow, controlled movement. That's what we're really focusing on when we're doing yoga. It's about the slow, controlled movement instead of the quick movement that you may be used to from another uh, form of exercise. All right, last one, bring it back to the middle. And some reverse crunches to get your abs working a little more. So I want you to squeeze your knees toward your shoulders as tight as you can, and then bring your legs straight out and then squeeze your thighs together, squeeze your feet together. You can relax your head on the ground. And then pull your knees back to your shoulders, tighten your abs, push your knees as hard as you can toward the shoulders, and then bring it back out. Exhale and hold here. Squeeze your legs together, reach your toes back, bring it back in. Tighten, push the knees toward the shoulders. Inhale back out, last one. Squeeze your legs together as hard as you can. We're gonna hold this for one more breath. Try to press your heels forward as much as you can. Reach your toes back. And then bring your knees back in. Nice. All right, moving up into a bridge. I'm gonna plant the feet about hip width distant. Bring your arms along your sides. Tighten your abs, this is important. So keep the weight in your abs and in your hips. And then lift your hips off the ground. Squeeze your thighs together. Reach your tailbone toward your knees. So your goal here is to make a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. So it's not necessarily about getting as high as you possibly can, more so about getting the proper engagement. So our glutes are going to be active here. You're gonna have your inner thighs active, squeezing toward one another. Your shoulders are relaxed on the ground. And again, abs are active, protecting your spine. So there shouldn't be any strain in your back here. And you wanna focus on drawing your ribs in. So you're not splaying open your chest, you're drawing that in. Then we're gonna go up to a one leg bridge here. So bring your right leg straight out, not too high. Yep, perfect. And then you're gonna push down through your left hip, get your glute active. So if we sit during the day, your glutes are gonna be super inactive. So we need to do something before we work out to make sure those muscles turn on. This is a great exercise for that. Just give this one more breath. And then plant your right foot, switch sides. Notice the hips stay level, so I'm not dropping my right hip or dropping the left hip, but I'm keeping both of them lifted. Bring it up a little bit higher, squeeze your right hip, push down through your right foot, through the big toe, through the whole foot. One more breath. And then plant your left foot, release down, and bring your knees in toward your chest. Yep, grab them with your hands and then just kind of roll from side to side just a little bit. Yep, just giving your back a little bit of a break after that back bend. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and flip over 
and move it to a tabletop position. So your core is really active now. We've warmed up the spine, the hips, the abs. So now we're going to start moving your spine a little bit more, working into mobility, getting your abs warm in a little different way, and then moving into some full body movements. So in a tabletop position, your index fingers face straight forward, your thumbs face in. You want to push your hands into the ground and turn the biceps to face forward. Yep, so your shoulders are active, they're kind of locked in. And then from here, you're just going to move into a cat cow. So we're going to inhale and arch your back, look forward, try to lift your butt up. And then exhale to round, bring your head toward your hips, push your back toward the ceiling, and tuck your chin. And keep that up. So we're going to do about five of these. Looking slightly higher every time. And then rounding. And you can do this on your own pace, but you do want to make this last as long as you can. So again, it's about that slow controlled movement, not so much about moving quickly and trying to complete the exercise as fast as possible, but really trying to work deeper into every movement. And that's what's going to help you get more mobility. And that will help prevent injury and help keep you mobile, especially as you get older. Do one more of these. Try to get as much arch as you can. Squeeze your knees lightly toward one another to keep your core tight and protect your spine. And round. Head toward your hips, back toward the sky. All right, back to a neutral tabletop. So shoulders back over the hands, spine is straight. And now without moving your hips, bring your left arm straight out in front of you. Good, and without moving the hips, bring the right leg straight back. Yep, good, lift your belly button just a little bit. And then try to lock out your right leg so the heel presses back, your toes reach toward you. Yep, and we're just gonna hold this for a couple breaths. This is called a bird dog. This is a great exercise for activating your core, helping you stabilize your core. And you can just look straight down at the ground. Turn your left palm to face up, so we're getting a little more internal rotation to the shoulder. Take a big breath in. And then bring your elbow to your knee. So left elbow, right knee under your body. Squeeze in tight. Yep, good. One more back out. Squeeze back in, look back, back out, and then release down. Pay attention to your hips. The goal is when you change, you shouldn't move your hips. So try to keep your hips the same even when your arms and your legs are moving. All right, switching sides, right arm out. And without moving your hips, bring your left leg back. Good, toes reach toward you, belly button lifts. So you should feel this in the core. It should kind of feel like a plank. It shouldn't feel like it's in your back. Again, if you want to turn the right palm up, press your left heel back. Try to make your leg as straight as you can. Make your body as long as you can from your heel to your outstretched fingertips. And you can even squeeze your left hand toward your right knee and right knee toward the left hand. All right, inhale to extend. Exhale, pull it in, elbow to knee, and look behind you. Back out, elbow to knee, look behind you, press the elbow to the knee as hard as you can, bring it back out, and then release your hand down, release your knee down. Nice. Thanks for joining me for this workout today. Make sure you subscribe. We put out lots of videos like this on a very regular basis. And to get full access to all of my workouts, my programs, tutorials, and more, head to manfulyoga.com. Sign up for a seven-day trial. It's just $1. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video.